LG up the grid down and uh, southwest Western Australia. Beautiful summer's day. Sorry, autumn. It's quite cool. Summer was pretty brutal, as I said in the last video. Well, carrying on from the last video, um, yeah, you can find it up here somewhere. The last video, uh, yeah. And uh, you remember in the last video, I ended the video with telling you what I was going to do the next day. Now this is about the present moment, predicting the future. You know, you got to live now. That's all we got. Take your eyes off the screen. Have a look around. That's your reality. Okay, this is my reality here. But um, yeah, in that last video, if you watch it to the end, I. Uh, I said I'd predict the future and be ramming earth the next day. Well, this wall, we rammed it today. It's got a bit of a story to it, this wall. <laughs> I won't ask you if you want to hear the story. I'm going to tell you the story. <laughs> so, uh, you carry on from the last video, right? I, I said, oh, yeah, had it all set up. I showed you how I formed it all up. All the form's gone now, except the bit on the wall. Um, yeah, I told you I had it all formed up. We did that video. We had the pile of dirt over there, remember, all mixed up. Big pile of dirt ready to just add water like a cake mix, and up she goes. Well, we got up real early. You know, it's dark now. We're, we're heading into autumn. It's Yeah, it's dark in the morning, summer. You know, it's light at 4.30 or something, but now it's 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. Anyway, we got up in the dark, got it all going, you know. And then come over, Billy come around here. <laughs> Billy come whizzing around, woo, ramming the wall. We dumped our first, uh, dumped the first uh, load in, you know, and it's getting leveled out there. I was running over to Colin. <laughs> I was running over to Colin. <laughs> and I turned Colin. Did, did, nothing happened. Nothing happened with Colin. Uh, of course you go, you've got a pile of dirt, big pile, the biggest piles we do, all ready to go. You've got one little lift tipped in and fuck me dead, Colin don't work. Anyway, I tried to salvage the situation. I thought it was a uh, starter motor, so I hit the starter motor with a bit of wood. I've done that before and it started. No, it wouldn't start. It doesn't turn over, nothing when you turn the key on. It's not like it doesn't start, it's just nothing. Electrical problem. So I, I come over here and I, I whipped off Wendy. That's Wendy if you don't know the uh, the people. You're new to the video, you know. If you're new to the video, go up here and, and have a look at the, uh, the vid. Wendy, you'll find all about Wendy in the earlier videos. Wendy's done her job, you see. She's a bit burned out, but she's done a few motors. Anyway, I got the the, um, the starter motor off, whipped over, pulled all this off, got the starter motor off this one. They're all interchangeable, these Chonda motors. We call the uh, Chinese Honda motor copies, the Chondas. So I got the starter motor off, got it all in there, Not nothing. So I'm smashing around with it and yeah, nah, nothing, put it, put it back and then I come back to put it back and I forgot where the wires go on that starter motor solenoid there. I changed the solenoids as well, tried everything, nothing, couldn't salvage me pile of dirt. Anyway, um, yeah, got a guy come up, he got it going, he got it going that no night, he come up and we got it going and it's all good again. So, let's ram the next day. <laughs> so we're about to ram the next day. Come over and look at the sunset out the window. You caught this. Bit of smoke around, they're burning again, you know. Keep us all safe. Fuck me dead. Anyway, yeah, so uh, got it all going. We're gonna ram the next day. Got the big pile going. Uh, Got the big pile going, and then um, yeah, we didn't we didn't add water before we checked Colin, <laughs> so we come over to Colin, right? <laughs> this is the next day, second attempt on this wall. 
and then the turn and the key were Colin it was turning over and everything but these mornings are getting a bit cool and dark Colin just did not want to go didn't go anyway meshed around you know pulled the plug out I changed the carby meshed around with the carby and then uh, another one up there has got a carby on it different carby it's not getting fuel it was getting spark anyway whatever was going on one working so we canned it for the day but we saved the pile <laughs> we saved the pile and I thought nah the motor's done its job that motor it's done all this around here it's built another guy's round earth house and it's done everything here you know it's probably mm, five six years maybe St Peter yeah it could be six years old or something anyway bit the bullet got Colin a new motor brand new Chonda <laughs> and the Chonda the Chonda works good same 15 horsepower Honda copy um, but the cutoff and the revs it just doesn't seem to give the same amount of air you have to wait a bit I don't know if I need a you know another tank to fill up to run off or what but it, I'll have to adjust the uh, throttle anyway today smooth as silk Colin started first kick every time beautiful been messing around we've been praying to the gods for Colin when we get going pray that it starts not anymore anyway that's it folks done the wall scaled it they talk about what you've done not what you're gonna do you know talk a bit about what you're gonna do but try not to predict the future or I won't be ramming earth tomorrow and all you got is the present moment so enjoy that moment I'll leave you with that so that's it for now We'd, I think that's as far as I remember at the beginning I thought if I got seven more of them in me eight of them more in me life and yeah so I've I've got to six and got to go to uh, eight and a half there's another two and a half to go I was hoping to maybe do another one but I, I think I'll leave that now so that's as far as we're going on the biggies I'm going to, uh, I've been doing a bit of work down here, give you a look. So, I've got a bit of a problem. The reason I haven't done anything on the front here is because um, I was going to, uh, I, I thought to do this retaining wall down here. I'm doing a retaining wall the same as that one down here. It's a bit higher, but it's like about 1.8. And getting the dirt in there, I didn't think Billy would be able to turn around down there, but and tip the dirt in there or shovel it at least. Anyway, it looks like it's all going to work. I've got to dig out a bit more there. That's a line there, and that gives us enough room to put the board and have a bit to work on the side. And then uh, I've just cut this balcony down from four meters to 3.7. And then Billy should be able to turn around there and tip because what I was going to do, I wasn't working on the front here because I thought maybe if I set up sheets of tin or something, I could bring Billy in here and just tip it and it just goes down the uh, down the chute into the into the box. But it looks like it's all going to work. So I might leave the biggies for a while. Getting a bit dark and it's a long day, them biggies. Um, still a bit of light around the course, but. So what we're going to do, it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle how to work it and get Billy in here and get Billy out, you know, so uh, on the final thing. So what I'm going to do now, this is the uh, the laundry in here and, and because you can't get Billy in there, it all has to happen from this side. So, so we're starting, you can get the scaff in there, so we're going to do that bit there, that one there. And then this is a bedroom wall that goes along here. Um, had a bit of a moment where we thought because the walls can we can't get the big giant scaffs in here. We can't get the big giant ones in here, but we can get up to we can get up to five from the back, and then the last two are buckets, so we we don't need to go or 
Now we just ran from the same side. Anyway, I was putting, got the new Chonda right, put it on, all good. <laughs> they don't give you the bolts, you don't get the bolts, and you don't get this bolt. You don't get this bolt. So, slipped it on, pulley went on beautiful. Bit of a hassle getting it off the other one, but that's another story. Um, had the bolt, had the bolt, screwed the bolt in, and it just didn't feel <laughs> right, you know. You fuck around with threads. Um, so I thought, nah, and I tried a bit with a spanner, and I thought, nah, that's a wrong thread. It's a wrong bloody thread. And Easter and all that, and I thought, oh, what am I going to do? Anyway, I... Uh, run over to Wendy <laughs> Wendy's got a bolt <laughs> so I whipped Wendy's bolt out but Wendy's bolt and, and then I whipped it over come over yeah just slipped straight in the threads right beautiful you know and but Wendy's bolts a bit longer it's got to cover that uh, that pulley sit weight thing over there so uh, yeah I, I worked out a washer I put a nut and a couple of washers in there and yeah Bob's your uncle as they say Yes, yeah, so they come out of Wendy over here. Yeah, so that's that's it, folks. Um, you little clouds, that's that's smoke. That's terrible. Yeah, keep us all safe, burn the forest. You know, I watched a video the other day about them chopping down all them thousand-year-old trees. Do you reckon we'll? Humanity will see a thousand year old tree again? I don't reckon. A thousand year old tree. Yeah, It'd take a walk. <laughs> Just chop them all down. We know better now, but <laughs> it's too fucking late. <laughs> anyway, have a great day. Happy Easter and all that. Yeah. And uh, as I don't know if I've told you before, and on this one meal a day thing, so I haven't eaten nothing today. I had a had a banana, had a banana and a cup of tea, two cups of tea, one to start, one at lunch, and a banana, and that's it. Did that whole wall, feeling great. On this one meal a day sort of thing. And what I was going to say, first time you've heard it, you've heard it here. You got to embrace the hunger, folks. Embrace the hunger. I'll leave it with you. Have a great day. We'll catch you in the next video.